All right. Here's our video, the sodium potassium pump. It's not a pump you can buy at Home Depot. Nile 5 or wherever. Bay 6. Now, this pump is in all our cells of our body, and it pumps in potassium, right? So what the sodium potassium pump does is it wants to get three, look at our pen ready. It wants to take three sodium ions, and A plus, wants to get them out of the cell. And what that does, it allows two potassium ions, K positive, as you can see there, to go in the cell. That's what the sodium potassium pump does. Now, sodium enters the cell in other ways through this small ion channels on the membrane. What you're looking at is the membrane there, those little balls right here. These are lipid balls, fat, they're just fat. Lipids are fats. And here's the sodium ion. And of course, right over here is the potassium ion. So as you can see, they're going into the cell through the sodium potassium pump. So again, this is a mechanism on all our cell membranes, and it's going to transport the sodium ions out of the cell, and then it's going to move potassium ions in the cell, and we'll talk about why that's necessary in this video. So let's get a better view here. Here we go. Better view over here. Now, you should know what ions are. In case you don't, ions are, we'll see on the periodic table, what we normally see is there's the same number of protons as electrons in the atom. When there's an unbalance, when there's more protons or more electrons than the other, then it's an ion. So in the case over here, get my pen going, right over here we see the sodium ions. They're, they see that plus sign. We know they have more protons than electrons. And the same goes for our potassium over here. So in a way, we'll, make, we'll simplify this. We'll just see what color should we use. Maybe red, bring it out. So here we have, there's going to be like these three areas where the sodium, the Na+, plus, will enter this pump. Fits perfectly. And then there's another place for two potassiums later. So what will happen is for this to happen, we need this right here, ATP, adenosine triphosphate. We need that energy. This is not a passive transport. This is active transport. And with active transport, you need energy. So the body's using adenosine triphosphate or ATP. So we could take this pump and flip it over. Basically, that's what's happening. All right. And so what's going to happen is this ATP is going to donate a phosphate molecule. And when it donates that, so here's, we'll just make this a phosphate molecule over here. That's the energy needed to flip this pump around. So the ATP will turn into ADP, which is adenosine diphosphate. just means it lost a phosphate molecule because it donated it. And then when that happens, the energy is going to flip it around. So we'll have this channel open up this way out of the cell. And then our three potassium ions, if we get them in there, they'll be free to leave and get into the cell, get, get out of the cell, that is. And so what will happen then is, remember, we had two openings here, is the potassium ions will now enter the cell. And then... The ATP that donated its phosphate, it will let go, and it will flip back around. So let's review that. We have this pump. Let's clear this out. So we have this pump, and we're going to have three sodium ions are going to enter the pump. Na+. Plus. So we'll, we'll use, use red. We'll use blue. Let's use red again. All right. So we have... Over here, we have one, two, three. And then what do we have to do? We have to donate a phosphate molecule right over here. So the adenosine triphosphate, the ATP, will now become adenosine diphosphate. And the pump will do what? It'll flip. So it'll go from this, right here's an arrow, to this. And the sodium ions are free. 
and the potassium ions now will cling to the pump. That phosphate molecule will be released, and it will flip back around. That's how, that's how it works. Now, the question remains is why does the cells want to get rid of all that sodium anyway? Because they're going to need it, right? Well, as I said before, there are these channels where sodium can enter into the cell. But what happens is the cell wants to build up sodium outside the cell for other reasons. So when there's a buildup of sodium, so let's get a cell. Let's use an example with the heart. Let's get a blank page. Okay, so we have a heart. And, of course, the easiest heart to make is a heart that doesn't really look like a heart, just a Valentine heart. So that's just because we know what a heart. We know that's the heart. It's not really what the heart looks like, obviously. So when we have this buildup of sodium ions outside the cell, let's build them up. All this sodium is being built up. Some sodium potassium pump is throwing out all this sodium. We're building all this up. And then so what's going to happen is then by diffusion alone, the sodium would want to get back into the cell. Right? And when the sodium's coming in, it's going to go in through these sodium, these not the sodium potassium pump, but it's going to go in through these small openings, these small protein channels. And what will happen if three sodium go in, three go in, what's going to happen is what will pop out is a calcium ion. And that's very important. So this calcium ion, write that down, calcium ion, leaves the cell and what happens here is that's responsible now for the contractions of the muscle and of course the heart muscle has to contract why do you think that is and by the way that's a and with this ion that you'll see this calcium ion you're going to see a two and a plus and that means there's two extra protons than electrons in the cell so when that calcium comes out and calcium is responsible for muscle contraction so it makes the heart beat that's really that's the importance of here so again the sodium potassium pump is bringing it's bringing the sodium outside the cell so you bring this you have this big buildup of sodium and then of course through the fusion sodium wants to go back into the cell and as it's going in pumping out calcium ions in these small channels. And again, the calcium ions, as you can see here, they have two extra protons, and they're responsible for muscle contraction. So that's just a little example of the sodium-potassium pump.